put it up and get your uh, grooming critique on it. Well, Billy, I'd say this. He's been acting as a beard for this president for five years. Why not grow one, okay? At this point, why don't you put a pedometer on him to measure how pedantic he is? This guy blows more smoke than a Rastafarian death rattle. Oh, my God. And like I said, that whole press room has turned into men staring at goats, blaming other goats. <laughs> New Hampshire. There's a congresswoman up there named Ann Custer, and Ann had a little. Yeah, that's right. Get your, get your, your last. last get your last hand your jokes last thing. ready here, everyone. All right. So Ann Custer has a town hall meeting, and here's what happened. Roll the tape. Can you address Benghazi? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do about Benghazi? Why isn't Benghazi at the top of your issue? Well, I'm certainly not here to talk about it. We're here to talk about the Middle East. That is the Middle East. Libya is like right in the middle of the Middle East. Benghazi yeah. is the Middle East. <laughs> so she looks like Billy. She yeah. looks as stupid as Mo Howard after she hit him with a ball peen hammer in the head. <laughs> Does anybody else notice now that our stupidest people no longer have a dunce cap on in a room? In any given room, the stupidest person now has a gavel, for God's sakes. She has no idea what Benghazi is. She thinks it's one of the three actors with John Cassavetti and Peter Falk in the film Husbands. Um, no. Ben Gazzara. <laughs>